from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm delighted that you're here. Here we help you to improve your finances, your health, your relationships, and your career. This is episode number eight in Boaz Power TV. It's called, A Leap of Judgment Could Be Costly. A leap of judgment could be costly. How many times have you and I done this? How many times have we leaped to judgment? Have we, have we judged somebody without knowing all the facts? I certainly have, and my goodness, I've got to work on this. And so our message for today deals with a couple of stories that have happened in the past. One personally, one I heard about. I had a call in my office a few months back from a gentleman who sounded like he was drunk. He absolutely sounded like he was drunk. And I thought, my goodness, couldn't he have waited and had some drinks later and just called me when he felt better because his voice was slurred and it was hard to understand him. But I was trying to be patient. And so the call ended and afterwards, I must tell you, I leaped to judgment and thought, how dare he have the gall to call me when he's drunk. A couple of months later, I was somewhere across the country doing a seminar and a gentleman walks up to me and he is speaking in slurred language. And he says to me, Boaz, you probably don't remember me. I called you a couple of months ago at your office to ask a question and you were so kind and I'm sorry it may have been hard to understand me because I had a stroke and it makes my speech difficult to understand. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I had leaped to judgment. I thought that he was drunk. What if it was me? What if I had a stroke and, and I was trying to communicate with somebody on the phone and they thought I was drunk? I'm so glad I did not say anything. Here is another example of how people can leap to judgment. Uh, a man with his four little kids on a bus in a big city and um, they're acting very rowdy. The kids are jumping all over the seats and causing a lot of ruckus and that there's a very prim and proper lady sitting three or four seats back in the bus and she's watching all of this going on and you can see in her face that she is disgusted about why the father is not keeping his children in, you know, in a better way to behave. Why isn't he not watching over them? So they come to a stop and the father with the four kids get off and it just happens to be the same stop where this very prim and proper lady is getting off. So she gets off the bus and the father about to walk away with the four kids turns around and walks back to her and he says, I'm so sorry that my kids were very rowdy on the bus. We've just come from the hospital. Their mother just died. Oh my gosh, another example of leaping to judgment, of leaping to judgment when we don't know the facts. So I am saying this to me as much as I'm saying to you, I've got to be more cautious not to leap to judgment. I'm not walking in that person's shoes. I don't know what the details are. So let me give people the benefit of the doubt. And that is the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV. I give people the benefit of the doubt. I give people the benefit of the doubt. If you like these messages, and many people around the world do, please do me a favor, forward this to five people you know, ask them to go to my website, boazpower.com, and they can sign up for these free weekly broadcasts. And maybe we can help other people to help others. Won't that be nice? You are special, you are unique, you are destined for greatness. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.